Before I give you the next exercise, I need you to know the limit of n over n plus 1 to the power of n as n heads towards infinity. I need you to know the limit of this. Now, in the past, I would, I, I've always asked you to ingrain this in your mind. You must know this by heart. Uh, the, the limit of, of this whole thing here as n heads towards infinity is e. Now, rewrite this one here. Rewrite this one as, as n over n. So common denominator, you can merge them together. So this whole thing here is the same as this. Now, in this video, we're going to try and find the limit of, of this. But then if, if you look at this, don't forget this here is e. But then, but then you've got, you've got n plus one. Well, it, here you've got n plus one over n, but here you've got n over n plus one. So this is the reciprocal of, uh, of this. But, uh, we, we know that this thing here is e. But then what is the limit of this? Now, for you to try and understand what's going on, if you look at this, not notice that this is the reciprocal of this. So if you if you look at this here, a over b to the power of n. Now, what what does it mean to have let's say b over a and then to the power of n? What does this even mean? Well, this thing here is actually this with a minus in front. Now, if if you just consider this with um, if you consider uh, minus n here. So this would then become, this would then become, uh, this would then become, uh, a n minus one over b minus n here, and then uh, and then what does this thing become? This will become one over a n divided by this thing one over uh, b n, and then uh, and then this thing here a o, one over a a n uh, times the reciprocal of this, uh, b n over uh, one, and then that becomes b to the power of n over a to the power of n, and then you can rewrite this as b over a, uh, and then to the power of n. So, so, so you, you can see that now this is the upside down version of this thing here. So the the, the point here is that because this is the reciprocal, well. Um, you see, if, if you if you stick a minus in front of here, then then this uh, this whole thing here will be the same as this. So uh, so this being e, well, hang on. If you if you stick a minus in front of this, then then it, then you can rewrite this as one over one over uh, n over n plus one to the power of n. Now this thing here. Is exactly the same as this thing here. This thing here is e. This thing here is e. So so um, so so the limit of this is actually one over e. It's actually one over e. Just just think about it for yourself. Play around with it. But let's let's just pretend you didn't know this. And let's let's just work work out the limit of this from scratch. Okay. So so let's let's work it out from scratch. So we are trying to find the limit of this. Let's just call that limit. Let's 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 just call it y. So so it is a y that we're seeking. So we're going to try and find out the limit of this from scratch. So natural log equally to both sides. So natural log of this, natural log of this. This end can come down. That will then become this. And then, uh, and then, um, if you uh, if you look as n heads towards infinity. So so here you've got one block, and here you've got another block. As n heads towards infinity, this is going to head towards infinity. This will head towards. Well, if you look at the natural log. Um, this is heading towards one here. Well, one is here. Natural log is zero. So as n heads towards infinity, this thing here will be infinity. This thing here will be infinity. This thing here will be zero. So this is an indeterminate form. So you can use L'Hopital's rule. But here you've got a product. The the trick that we've always used in the past is to rewrite this product as a uh, as a fraction. So reimagine this as this. And we, this is a trick that we, we've used many times in the past. So now use L'Hopital's rule. Um, well, sorry, check it before you use L'Hopital's rule. So, so um, as n heads towards infinity, this thing here will be will be zero, uh, and then this thing here will be zero. Zero over zero is in the indeterm indeterminate form, so you can apply L'Hopital's rule. Applying L'Hopital's rule, differentiate the top, that will then give you this, and then differentiate the bottom, that will then give you this. Um, you may need to press pause and think this through for yourself, but if you differentiate this, it will give you this. Okay, so tidy this whole thing up, and it will, um, uh, because this will cancel out with this, 
and this in effect is just the number one and blah 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 tidy up this thing here this whole thing here will then become this okay and then and then tidy this up and then it's blah blah, blah. it will then give you it will then give you this and then uh, and then as n heads towards infinity you know that this is going to be one but then you've got a minus here so it's going to be minus one so um so so uh, so natural log of y equals minus one now exponentiate equally to both sides that will then give you this and then in a way these two cancel out giving you y so uh, so y equals this thing here so y equals one over e so um Right from the start, we said let y, we said let y be this thing here. Well, we've just worked out that y is 1 over e. So the limit of this, as n heads towards infinity, is actually 1 over e. Okay, so, so I need you to know this limit um, for the next exercise.